Hi students, let us continue with the multi-threading model. So in the previous video, I just explained about the many to one model and one to one model. Now let us see many to many more. So how the, that is the many to me, many means from user level, you are having the many threads and in the same way, the kernel level, you are having the many threads. It allows you many user level threads to be mapped to many kernel levels. So here it also allows the operating system to create sufficient number of kernel threads. So allows operating system to create sufficient number of kernel threads. Kernel threads. Okay, so let us take these are the suppose the threads. These are the many user level threads. These uh, many user level threads are communicating uh, with many kernels. So this is a common point. So here the many, these are the user level threads, user level threads and these are the kernel level threads. Kernel level threads. So let me explain in the form of, suppose this is the user space. The user space, you are taking two process, P1 and the P2. So this P1 and P2 having many threads. That is a uh, many user level threads. So each thread is sharing only one thread library function. Shares the library function so which uh, that library function contains the code of how to create and destroy the thread and to maintain and schedule the threads and these threads this process one and the process two that the multiple threads shares suppose you are taking six threads six user levels threads and six kernel level threads Okay, and this you call it as a kernel space. This is the kernel space. And each thread is executing in multiple processor CPU, multiple processors. So this is a many to many model. This is a representation of many to many model. So many user level threads are communicating with the many kernel level threads and executing in the multiprocessor system. So this is about the uh, different types of uh, multi-threading models. One to one, one uh, many to one and many to many models. Thank you.